So in this case, we are given question number two, uh, working on our number patterns, uh, sequences, and series. So there we are given uh, the arithmetic series. All right. So you are supposed to be careful when answering these typical questions. Already you are told here that it is an arithmetic series. You're already told. So what is it that you understand about the arithmetic series? We know of the common difference. That's the major part, the common difference. So we are already told, guys. So what we are going to check here is the common difference between these terms, three plus seven plus seven. These are terms which are being added. Remember, it's a series. You are adding the terms starting from this term to the last term. As you can see there, there we are given and so on and so on, meaning say, we have got the first term, which is our T1, and this represents the last term, which I said on the introduction, it is the same as Tn. Remember, the presentation of Tn is of the last term. All right, so not wasting our time, guys. We are given on 2.1, write down the fourth term in the series. So in this series that we're given, what is going to be the fourth term? As we have T1 as our first term, this is T2, our second term, our T3. What is the term that is following here, which is the fourth term? So it's an advantage because we are already told that it's an arithmetic where we have got a common difference. So what's the difference between the terms? Find the difference. The difference, we know that it is what? Found by T2 minus T1, is it T3 minus T2, and so on and so on. So the difference between these 10 minus 3. Take note, 10 minus 3, which is a difference of 7. 17 minus 10, which is also a difference of what? A difference of 7. So if we know that there is a difference of 7, it means you were adding 7 to obtain the next term. From one term to another, you were adding a 7. So it was 3 plus 7, which is 10. 10 plus 7, which is 17, meaning to say 17 plus a 7 is going to correspond to the fourth term. Remember, it's 1, 2, 3. So the fourth one can be determined uh, direct like that. All right. So that is it, guys. So meaning to say, uh, in this case, uh, the fourth term, which is T4 was simply going to be the sum. 17 plus what? That's 17 plus uh, a 7. Remember, I said a difference of 7, which is going to give us 24. So the number corresponding here was going to be 24. All right. So that was the case of your question in that case. Or if you maybe understand from the nth term, all right, because well, some of us, the way that we answer, guys, uh, it differs. It differs. So someone can understand it from the nth term. Since it is an arithmetic, okay, you say my nth term. So this is another way that you can use. My nth term is given by A plus N minus 1 times D. For N arithmetic series, this is what we understand. For N arithmetic series. As we are calculating the fourth term, so meaning to say n is supposed to be equal to 4. So that's t4 is equal to a, remember, your first term, which is 3. So that was going to be 3 plus n. Remember, you're referring to what? The fourth term. So that's 4 minus 1 times d, our common difference, which is what? Which is 7. So that is it, guys. It was going to be 3 plus, that is 4 minus this, which is 1. 4 minus 1, which is 3 times 7, that's 21. Then add this, you're going to obtain uh, 24. Or just use your calculator, guys, here. That is 24. That's another way that you could have simplify this question. Different ways, guys, of answering this, uh, depending with your understanding. Then we are given on 2.2 uh, to determine the general term of the series, an arithmetic series, as I have specified uh, above, that Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 times D for a what? For an arithmetic uh, series. Uh, given this from your formula sheet, maybe you've forgotten your formulas, guys, but make sure that 
you understand uh, your formulas, know your formulas. At least we are given this TN, uh, which is for the arithmetic, all right? So meaning to say if you are dealing with an arithmetic series, is it a sequence that you're given? That is the TN that you're going to use. All right, where A is the first term, so let us substitute. So remember, the, the general term is the nth term. So it is given in terms of what? It is supposed to be in terms of N. All right, A being three, that's three plus, we do not have the substitute for N, but D, we have this one, the common difference of what? Of seven. So that's it. You're going to obtain your TN from there. So that's our TN was going to be three plus, let us expand this bracket by seven, the seven times N, which is seven. And remember it's a positive here. So it's just gonna be, remain with the sign, which is there. Seven times negative one, which is negative seven. All right. So that is where we are guys. And as you can see, we have the seven N and the constants 3 minus 7, which is going to give us a negative 4. So that was going to be uh, the presentation of our TN. Then from there, they want you to express the series in sigma notation. All right. So I said in sigma notation, guys, it is the presentation uh, which is, all right, let us take our TN so that we can understand each other. Remember, we obtained the TN here which is equal to 7n minus 4. I said, when working with the sigma notation, it is just a presentation, guys, for the sum of terms. The summation, this one is sum of terms, which is representing the terms added. T1 plus T2, you are adding these terms. So already an expression for Tn, this one, the Tn is already there. This is the one that we calculated Depending with the series that we are given, our Tn is what? 7n minus uh, 4. So you can write in terms of n, you can write in terms of k, uh, depending with what you want. So starting with, for us to, starting with what? For us to obtain the 3 that we are given here, because you can see that we are starting with a 3. According to our terms, this is T1, T2, and so on. So this is the, Part corresponding when n is equal to 1, if you substitute this n1 here, 7 minus 4, that's a 3. We get exactly the 3 that we are seeing here. So it means we are starting at a point where n is equal to 1. But we are going to end where? Where are we going to end? Because we need the end point in terms of n, in terms of the number of terms. As you are counting these terms, say this is t1, t2. This one is the last value which represents Tn. For this Tn that we are given, what is the corresponding n that we have? Because that is the last value that we have. So what is the n at that point? What is the value of n? So simply, we can solve it as an equation since our last term is 150. It must be equal exactly to Tn and we have an expression for Tn, which is 7n minus 4. So you can solve for n. You can solve for that, which is the last part uh, of our, our terms as we are having, say this is the first up to the what? Up to which term, all right? So let us solve for n, negative 4 to the other part was going to be positive. Uh, that's 154 is equal to 7n. So we can simply divide by 7. Uh, by 7, so that's n is equal to uh, 22, which is the last part that we have in terms of our terms. As we are counting 1, 2, 3, this term that we, are, we, that we are seeing there, which is the last value that we are seeing at the end, is t22. So we are ending at what? At this value, which is 22. So that is your end point in this case, 22. So that is the case. So you're not going to just write the summation that you're given, then you just write is 7n minus 4. Starting from where, ending to which value, it is important. So that understanding of the series that you're given, you see, it helps you. Understanding that it's an arithmetic helps us to understand that this is the Tn value, and we understand it was taken from this Tn, so we can solve 
for the value of n uh, at the end point. So these are the, these are some of the typical questions that you might be given. So you need to just try to work out as many questions as you can, uh, preparing yourselves uh, for the exams which are ahead of time.